afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for St. John and Maxville, Kansas on Cable Channel 3 and for SandyLandCenter.org, our website. Today is Monday, it's the 13th of June. It's 79 here in the square at noontime. And it's going to get to be 90 before the end of the day. Probably cloudy for most of the day. Tomorrow also will be partly cloudy with a high temperature of 97. And then Wednesday we have thunderstorms, just a 30% chance, and the high temperature 102. And we stay in the hundreds the rest of the week. Thursday is partly cloudy, 100. Friday, a thunderstorm, 102 again. And this time a 40% chance of rain. And then Saturday, partly cloudy, and the temperature is 100. And uh, we're kind of getting ahead of the schedule for summer being here before it's summer. And uh, anyway, we have no birthdays to talk about today. <coughs> but there are several things uh, going on in the country. And we even have our own uh, uh, difficulties here in the city of St. John. And uh, there's been a lot of uh, uh, hard feeling at the city council, between the council and the mayor, and big disagreements over which way the city ought to go. And uh, the mayor has, uh, has resigned. And the mayor had this letter of resignation. <coughs> This is Julianne Owens. I had 17 months left on my term. It should have been 10, but the legislation moving the elections ahead added seven months. I resigned because I feel like I have become a detriment to the community in this role. I have been unable to effectively gather information or to have productive conversations on matters impacting the community. Most recently, the grocery store issue. I would rather resign than be a hindrance. It has been an honor to serve the community. Julian M. Owens, Mayor of the City of St. John. And so we want to thank Mayor for her service to the city it's really not an easy job to be mayor in St. John or any of the uh, officials. It's not an easy job to be council member. They have so many very difficult things going on and the loss of the grocery store really was a blow to the city. And what, if anything, can be done about it isn't always very clear. So that happened. Now, I'm glad that that is the kind of problems that we have here instead of the kind of problems they have in Florida where a hundred people have been killed or wounded and uh, there's been another attack by a jihadist Muslim. And uh, so there is another threat to our country. And we, I think, have to realize that there are a number of Muslims who are back in the Middle Ages, or maybe even before the Middle Ages, <clears throat> who really believe that Sharia law should be imposed on people, and they also believe that they should take over this country and establish Sharia law to replace our Constitution. Now there are Muslims who are more modern and who uh, want to follow their faith, who believe in Allah as God, and they are trapped in this kind of fight. And uh, one Muslim leader was on uh, TV today saying that the country has to make it a war against jihad so that the Muslims in this country 
can turn in people who are planning jihadist attacks and then the government can protect them. And the different mosques in the country have to do that in order to save their people. And many of them are apt to be participants in this war against our country. So we need to pay attention to this. Particularly, we have to do that and be investigating people uh, in the mosque because the people there know what these people are going to do, but they're afraid to say anything because both they and their family would die horrible deaths and they take it seriously. So we should take it seriously and protect the Muslims. There are people who would love to live in this country and be free like the rest of us. But they'll not be free until we, we do something about this. And I would wish that the Congress would declare war on ISIS and, and in those countries where it is and then the people that are thinking up these things would be people who are committing treason. And then they could be arrested for planning it. They could be arrested for building bombs. We wouldn't have to wait until you blow somebody up to arrest you. Well, anyway, that's just my take on it. And I'm certainly glad that I live here in St. John, even though we have all kinds of problems of our own. and. We have people leaving town and businesses that aren't here, and it's not sure what we ought to do. Well, we go on, uh, and we have another trip. The Lunch Bunch is meeting tomorrow, and they're going to go to Perkins in Great Bend for brunch. And they start uh, uh, from the Rec Mission at 9, <coughs> And then after brunch at Perkins in Great Bend, they can go on a couple of quick shopping trips if people want to do that. And the expense is $5 plus your own brunch. <coughs> then on uh, the 29th, the Recreation Commission has their Dodge Sino Casino trip, and this time it's going to be in the evening. And they leave at 4, they're at the casino from 5.15 to 8.30 and they come back at 10. <clears throat> so it'll probably be a more lively time in the evening at the casino. So that's good, but it'll take up your evening, which isn't so good. <clears throat> They'll come back at 10. $10 is the cost. And again, <clears throat> if the temperatures are in the hundreds, or they're going to have a windy storm, they may have to cancel. Then we have our menus at our fellowship meals in our, in our two cities. <coughs> the Maxwell VIP folks are having sweet and sour chicken today, liver and onions, or a smothered steak tomorrow with baked potatoes, and baked pollock, macaroni, and cheese on Wednesday. <clears throat> Meanwhile, uh, here in uh, St. John, the sunflowers are having braised beef with noodles and broccoli today, baked turkey and cheesy pasta uh, Tuesday, and on Wednesday, oven fried chicken and mashed potatoes with gravy. It's always nice to see mashed potatoes with gravy, even if it is hot. Well. This is uh, Jim Lakey. The word of the day is this, and it's very important to us as people. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. This is Jim Lakey. Let's concentrate on what we are and who we are as people.